Okay, so here we are for me to talk about that VCR combo because I kind of ended that video pretty quick because I was all confused on what was going to happen. I sometimes, oh, I've discovered that if you use composite, sometimes if you use really cheap composite cables, they don't go in all the way and you can have a loose signal and things can look shitty. That wasn't it. I didn't expect that was it, but I changed out the cables anyways. And what was the final culprit for this one? Was the VCR was trash. Not only was the VCR trash, the whole the whole thing was the DVD play obviously didn't work because the thing kept popping out and everything. And um, the test tape, Lethal Weapon Four, is a dud, been destroyed. It ate the tape. That's why when you test a VCR for the very first time, even if you already tried to test it a little at the store, um, you should. I actually, sometimes I don't do it a second time. I need to do it a second time. When I get home, I need to find the worst tape I have in the house and put it in the VCR and see if it works. Simple as that. The tape did play, though. So that's why I was a little confused. What happened was with the test tape, it played, although it was all over the place because the VCR was messed up. It, it played. I stopped it. I put it in the trunk because we were going to take it back to the Goodwill and get a credit or something so we don't have to <laughs> waste our money. And um, I noticed that that um, I left the VCR tape in there. I was like, oh, crap. I, I use that for a uh, test tape all the time. I got it out of the trunk and plugged it back in. And that's when it wouldn't, the tape wouldn't come out when I ripped it out. And that's when some, actually when I ripped it out, none of the tape was cut, but it was just really crimpled up and shit. Once that happens, there's no way to strain the tape out. It probably won't work. It'll just snap in the VCR or something. So I don't recommend doing that. So that's basically what happened. But the CRT television I have now um, that goes along with the VCRs will work wonderful. This TV, the whole screen works. It's not like the other one where it looks like it's a widescreen because um, it was messed up. This one works fine. And I got it for 7 bucks. I can't believe they just gave the television away. That's because most people do not understand old media and vintage kind of stuff. Like in VCR tapes. If they did, they would sell them for a lot more. They're going for like over $100 on eBay or close to it. So um, if they were, if Goodwill was smart, they would start selling them for a little more money. But they just want to get rid of them because they don't want to deal with stuff on their shelf. Um, what else do I have to say? Well, this was a Samsung. And from what I understand, people always gave Samsung VCRs. This was a combo too. Samsung combo. They always gave them bad ratings. Maybe that's why it didn't work right. I should have known from getting it from the store the, the way the VCR was working. I mean, I mean the way the DVD play was working, but I gave it a try. One thing I didn't see at Goodwill was um, I didn't see any Blu-ray players. I was surprised. Usually every time I go there, there's a, I'll pick up a Blu-ray player because I always stack up on them. Um, and, you know, that's pretty big. Um, one thing I want people to know, especially with these combo players, because they tend to break the most, is that it's a it's a guessing game. When you walk into a place like Goodwill or any kind of, I don't think um, Salvation Army's getting really stingy with the way they accept things now. I mean, people still use VCRs and stuff. Give me a break, but they don't accept that stuff from what I understand. When you go into these kind of places, you got to expect for things to break. Some places may not even have returns if it's just a small re um thrift store if that's the case you take a risk when you go but you know what in order for me to get really screwed over i'd have to go buy a vcr from this place like four or five times because if you look at the prices online most of them are at least 90 or 100 bucks for a vcr combo or even more a couple hundred dollars so i'm just saying that um the last vcr i remember was released in 2000 in I'm trying to think. Last VCR, so far, so far back, I don't even remember. The last VCR, I'll say it again, I keep repeating myself. The last VCR was released in 2016, I think. That's how far they, how far along they kept making them. Or was it 13? No, I think it was 16. Um, and then they finally cut the cord. Um, the, so that's a long time. So there's got to be a lot of units out there still. You would think. Um, Blu-ray players are going to be made for a long time to come. That's interesting to see that. As to how long are they going to make these DVD and Blu-ray players after the media disappears. We already know VCR doesn't make any VCR. There's no VCRs made anymore. 
what are we going to do in the future with DVDs? They still make DVD plays, believe it or not. There's at least two or three brands I see around. Usually all the same ones, but they're all at different stores. They're still selling DVD plays, and when you look at the thing, people are buying them still. Just make sure if you buy a DVD play, it's going to be an HDMI one. I kept saying it doesn't matter. You can buy them. You can buy composite. The only situation you can buy composite is if you have a CRT television or else it's going to look really mad, bad on them, all those LCD televisions. So just that that's a that's um cons consideration to make. What else can I say? I am just it's been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure to do this because I can you don't have to risk as much money as if you are going to say um like I said, like if you're going to go somewhere else, um, like eBay or something, you're going to spend a lot more money. Just with VHS tapes, you have to look. I opened an eye. Another bad thing I had today was um, after I um, it ate the tape, I noticed that when I am um, before that, I noticed when I opened up an ice, um, I Love Lucy VHS tape, it had all kind of mold on it when it was a brand new one. It goes to show you sometimes when you don't store tapes the right way, they turn to shit. All right. Bye-bye. <laughs> Stupid thing now. <laughs>